It is almost April 20th, and uh, the last two nights at the Dakota Bar and Grill have been Harold Mayburn nights, and uh, in this part of the world, I think a, a second visit for you. Oh, I really enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to a second visit because I've heard a lot about this club, and it's everything that they said it was. I tell you, beautiful club, beautiful instrument, great food, you know, beautiful reception from the audience, you know. And you start with the piano, it's not a bad instrument. That's true. Well, you know, that's the whole orchestra there. As we said, that's the grandmother of all instruments, the piano, you know. Harold Mayburn, I, I just want to touch on something very, uh, well, early in your background. This uh, high school, Manassa High School, which uh, launched several important musical streams and history, including yours. Oh, yeah, well, we had quite a few great people come out. As you said, Jimmy Lonsby taught there was both before my time. One of the world's greatest accompanists and arrangers are, are Jimmy Jones from Memphis, Tennessee, Aretha Franklin, born in Memphis, Tennessee, a pianist who was around here for a lot of years, the great Bobby Loud, Memphis, Tennessee, George Coleman, Hank Crawford, Frank Strozier, Booker Little, Charles Lord, uh, Sonny Chris, and then you had it, uh, Phineas went to Manassas and Booker Washington at the same time. Phineas Newborn, Calvin Newborn, Jameel Nasser, Lewis Smith. You know, so we had quite a uh, Maurice White of Earth, Wind, and Fire. So Isaac Hayes. So we had we got quite a few talented people from down that way. What uh, what accounts for the uh, the musical development there? It's got to be the faculty, uh, well, the teachers. It was the faculty and teachers because we also had some great teachers. You know, for example, that uh, it was a trumpet player by the name of Matthew Garrett, who was an excellent trumpet player. And he's Dee Dee Bridgewater's father, and Booker Little was like his prized student. So aside from the great faculty that we had, we were also forced to play rhythm and blues. And during that time, we thought it was a drag, but we didn't realize later on that was a blessing in disguise, you see. So that, that was part of it, too, the environment, having to play the blues. Yeah. And, and having those roots, uh, exactly. And, and basics. Exactly. That's, that, that always says because the emphasis was always put on swing as opposed to how many notes you could play. And once you understand the basic premise of swinging, you can go anywhere you want it from that point. You know. uh, is there a mentor in your life by the name of Ahmad Jamal who... Uh, yeah, well, uh, yes, you've heard me say before, I love all the pianists, but Ahmad Jamal and Phineas Newborn are two of my personal favorites. I mean, I love them all, but they're two because both of them are so much, they have so much going harmonically, melodically, rhythmic, and otherwise, you know. There's certainly a, a contrasting difference between Ahmed and, 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 and Finus or Phineas Newborn. Right. It is a contrasting difference, but by the same token, they both got a lot of the same things because they both studied the classics extensively, you know. Like Phineas was a Chopin man. He played all of them. But Ahmed Jamal, when he was about 11 years old, he was playing Litz concertos with the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra, you know. And they first met when they, when they, were, they were about 16, 17 years old. And they, there's a story that I'm told that he was about an hour late for his job with George Hudson because he and Phineas got to exchange their ideas and just forgot all about the time. Yeah. Your own development and, 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 the, and the sources from which you, uh, you have learned and studied and, and uh, evolved your style, what can you point to that in those music values, whether it's classical, blues, the art of Oogie Woogie, or the age of Bop. Right. Well, see, the thing is, uh, probably a lot of people don't realize I'm a self-taught pianist. In other words, I never took piano lessons in my life. I wish I could have. I started very late, but when I met Phineas, before I met Phineas, there was a gentleman named Charles Thomas, and I saw him play, and I was impressed with him. And he told me, he said, if you think this is something, you should hear Finus Newborn. And I said, does he play like you? He said, better. So when I heard Finus, you know, uh, I, I man, that just... just blew me away. I couldn't believe anybody could play the piano like that. So make a long story short, but because of the fact that I'm self-taught, but when I got to Chicago, that's when I met Alma Jamal and I heard Jody Christian. And then I used to go down to the conservatory and practice. And I used to hear these Chopin etudes. That's probably why a lot of people think I studied classical music extensively, but I didn't. But I used to hear these Chopin etudes, revolutionary etudes, Polonaise and A and all that stuff. So when you're around something, it's going to rub off on you. And, uh, you know, here again with my rhythm and blues background and with the little quasi-classical things I do, I guess the, that makes up for whatever style, I guess, you can say I have, you know. 
tonight you were working with a, a, another legend, another Lion King like yourself, Ed Thigpen. Uh, it seems to me that dynamically you two think alike. Oh, yeah. Well, see, well, that's because of the fact that he worked with one of my heroes, the great Oscar Peterson, who we both love and who also comes out of the Nat King Cole School. See, I'm basically, I don't come out of the Bud Powell tradition totally, or I tell them, I, I come through the Nat King Cole School. See, most people don't even realize that. Even a lot of pianists that play like Nat King Cole, they don't even realize that. See, that was a very important school because Nat put the emphasis on swing and, and touch as opposed to, say, technique, even though they're all important. But Oscar, Winton Kelly, Yours truly, Monte Alexander, Cedar Walton, even McCoy, Tony Hibbert, Hank Jones, Tony Frank, we all come through the Nat Cole school of, of piano playing. And when you think of Nat, what immediately comes to mind? Uh, total musician, uh, great vocalist, uh, great intonation, excellent, tasty pianist. Thank you very much for taking time to talk after you. your engagement here at the Dakota Bar and Grill. Harold Mayburn, I just wish you good health and all the good spirit and all that you're doing. Thank you so much, and I look forward to coming back.